So you got a, you got a um, sphere. Okay. But if you go to hexahedron, there is a sphere with the cross geometry already in it. Excellent. So you can use that. Now, depending on how close you're going to get to it, um, will depend on how many segments you use. Do you know what I mean? If you have to do a close-up on it, then... Yeah, of course. You could be. But I reckon if you were to go for 16, something quite low poly, you know, at a distance, um, you would need all that much geometry. Yeah, sure. And also, if you're having to, you know, make lots of them or copy them, you know, it saves on saves on geometry as well. Yeah, absolutely. It makes things faster. Um, yeah, so we could just use this, 16. The problem with 16 is that you have no edge kind of through the middle here because you want to kind of cut this in half. Mm-hmm. So we just make that editable. Um, just ring select that. Alt X. That's um, connect points edges. Yep. Which is right here. Yep. Which will split any edges in two. I'm using that so much now. It's so, so useful. Yeah, it's invaluable. So now we can go zero. In fact, I want to do this in uh, polygon mode. Let's get rid of that. Optimize. Back to edge mode. Do you use um, HP's modeling tools, garbage can, trash can? No. It's really good. I, it, it, I should, yeah, I should do the... There's one that does delete and it optimizes it for you that, as well. That's it, the garbage can, top top left, yeah. through, through yeah, from should, the um, solo yeah. button. Yeah, stuck in, stuck, in the, stuck in the ways, you know. Mm -hmm. well, it's, good to, it's good to know how to do it without these tools. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then we can just like maybe scale that out a little bit. So we get a nice curve on it. Mm. You could... Um, we'll go... In fact, I'll copy this because I'll show you something else after that um, now you could um, go to polygon mode and you know you could kind of shape this yeah flatten it out flatten it out a tiny bit um, I think before you do that it's probably a good idea to go to your scale tool modeling axis and take the Y down so it scales from the middle. Yep. Obviously, that's a um, pretty good way of doing that. And you could soft select this as well. Yes. You right. know, in mode to you know refine the shape more, but yep. it's only a screw, so you don't. You know, if you really love screws. Well, <laughs> I think there's a joke in there somewhere, isn't there? Somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, um, so we could extrude this at 90 degrees, create a little lip. Won't worry about any threads or anything like that. Most of the time when you're doing screws, you're just making the top top of the screw anyway. Mm -hmm. I'll leave the threads for another time. Now, another thing about this bit of geometry is that um, you can see the edges aren't um, equidistant. Yes, right. Um but in most cases, you know, at this low poly, that wouldn't make any difference anyway. You wouldn't notice that. Um, so anyway, live selection tool, polygon mode. Now you can just select these polys and just copy them down. That's so easy. If you needed it equidistant, you could always use a um, um, a disk, you know, and, use, and do the disk method. Uh, yeah, but it's just so handy, this. I mean, look, you've got the topology built into the... I suppose what you could do, which might solve that problem, is use HB even distribution. Yes. Um, Looks a little bit odd, doesn't it? Yeah. And that wants to come up a little bit as well. Um you might want to rotate that, just get it back into... That's pretty good. It's pretty clean. Yeah. yeah I mean, nice. you're not going to notice that from a distance anyway. You know, you could scale this 
to zero as well. That HB modeling tool um, is so useful. <laughs> yeah, it's the business. Um, you can say preserve curvature using the slide tool, even that up. Yeah, so good. You know. That's pretty good. So yeah. It's plenty good. of ways to do that. Yeah. Okay, so then we could uh, grab these polys here <laughs> and just scale in. Right, so scale to zero on Y. And that's pretty much that. Yeah, that's great. Really. And then all you'd need to do is form rate selection, select all, bevel tool, three subdivisions, mitering or metering, uh, uniform, bevel that out. You've got yourself a nice little kind of um, low-poly screw. And no subdivision required. No subdivision required. So, you know, if you're going to be viewing that like this and you render, you're not going to notice that. But it's, but it's, it's, it's enough and detail. And it will still hold up. You yeah, know, that's right. Yeah, yeah, enough detail to really add some really interest to your model, right? Yeah. You know, it's easy just yeah, to, to grab a half a sphere and just stick it in there, but, you know, with that with that nice Phillips head in the top, it just makes it so much more realistic. Yeah, you should really have like a toolbox of all this stuff yeah, so you don't have to keep making them all the time. Yeah, I saved mine to a kit bash. I've started my own kit bash. Yeah, yeah, good thinking. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to make a flat head, again, we could just take the same piece of geometry and, you know, scale that to zero there and go. there's your, your flat head you might have to clean up some of these edges uh, where is my dissolve uh, as it's on a flat surface those edges are fairly irrelevant yep and just go through the same process again you know so take this blah 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 yep. there's your your teeth around the outside, something like that, do that. So that's pretty much the way I've created, created it using the disk method the way you showed me the other day, you know, creating the curvature from a disk. But obviously you're, yeah. you're avoiding that whole, all those knife cuts and everything because um, you've already got the topology in the right, in the right yeah. shape at the top. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um, and then do the same thing here. And then, oh, oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna scale that. I mean, there's tons of different ways you can do this, but the, that, this is probably the quickest way. That's a pretty quick way, yeah. Um, and they look pretty good, you know. So can't complain, really, can you? No, that's great, mate. Look at easy screws. It's all about the technique. Yeah. And you can do flat heads the same kind of way. Um, that's brilliant. But, but yeah, I think that's all right. Well done.